When you first start up AutoCAD 2013, you'll notice something new along the top right-hand side of the AutoCAD interface, which is access to the Autodesk 360 environment. You'll also note here where it says sign in. We'll be covering that in just a moment. Now, by clicking this, you'll see a brief menu pop down that will give you the opportunity to sign into Autodesk 360 or to read more about it. I recommend that you use the About Autodesk 360 link and go read up a little bit on what you're about to experience. After clicking the link, you'll be brought here where you can read about the various overview features that you're going to be able to gain access to with Autodesk 360. It's worth your while to spend a little while reading up on this. Now, you'll also notice over here towards the right-hand side that you can sign in using your subscription account, or you can create a new account that will give you up to three gigabytes of storage for your clouded applications. We'll be talking more about that in this series on Autodesk 360. But before you can get logged in, you're going to have to go ahead and either set up this account or make sure that you can log into your subscription account. Once you've established your Autodesk 360 account, you can come back to AutoCAD, click here, and use the Sign In to Autodesk 360 link. Now, you'll be prompted to enter in your ID or email address, along with your password, and sign in. Once your sign in is complete, you'll see your username appear here along the top bar of AutoCAD's interface, and this is your clue that you're successfully logged into Autodesk 360 and you can start taking advantage of the functionalities of it, which we'll explore in this series.